All right, what's going on, traders? This is Rob MB3 Trader with another video to help you unlock the master trader within. All right, so real quick in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, do the Fibonacci extension on Sierra Chart. That's one of the the tools that I use a lot, you know, every day in my trading. So I just want to give you guys a quick little run through of, of how you know how to set all that up. So let me go ahead and rotate over to my Sierra chart platform to, to the window that I look at Sierra chart on. All right, get everything, make sure everything is situated. Okay, all right. So as you can see, this is my normal setup. If you are, this is the first time you're watching this video, this is my normal setup. You look at these lines right here. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and just put only the Fibonacci. All right, so now all I have on my chart is the Fibonacci extension as well as my power range okay so in this video i'm not going to talk that much about the power range i'm leaving it on the chart because the power range is how i set up my fibonacci extension so let me go ahead and, and just you know zoom in right there i can get rid of this drawing here that was from a little note that i gave myself uh last friday and if you want to see more about that right there Every, uh, about my trading in general just a real quick plug uh you can go on over to mv3trader.com look under the journal section and then i place all of my notes and ideas and everything as well as the screen recording right there in my journal right there on the website all right so fibonacci extension <laughs> all right let's get into this so the way that we're going to do this we're going to replicate how i have the fibonacci extension set up right here all right so i'm gonna go ahead and go on over to another chart book before I do that I'm going to close this one because I don't need it I just want to get rid of anything that is unnecessary if I can there we go I just want to get rid of anything that's unnecessary all right so this is the mv3 trader classroom chart book this is what we're going to use to illustrate how we're going to set up the Fibonacci extension the way that I use it now the whole purpose behind this is I'm just going to show you how to do it so then you can, you know, set up the fib extensions however you want to. It's the same process for the for the retracement. And in all honesty, you can use the Fibonacci uh, retracement the same way to do the same thing that you do with the extension. It's just, you know, personal preference, really. All right. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and get started into into this. All right. So let's say we want to put a Fibonacci extension on there now. When you set this up, when you're starting with Sierra Chart for the first time, you know, yours is not going to look like this. I've tweaked the way that Sierra Chart looks for me, you know, the way that I have it set up. So um, when you're getting started with this for the first time and before you set any of these, you know, the menu bars or the two bars up or whatever, the way that you're going to locate the Fibonacci extension is you're going to go up here to Tools. And all right, so it's not necessarily called Fibonacci extension or Fibonacci retracement in Sierra chart. In Sierra chart, what it's called is price expansion. Okay, so in Sierra chart, price expansion is Fibonacci extension, as well as price retracement. That is Fibonacci retracement. Okay, so for we're doing the extension, so we're gonna go to price expansion. All right, so now that we clicked on that tool, uh, uh, we can um, now we can start drawing. Okay, so you know that you have the tool selected, right? And don't pay attention to the lines that are on the chart right now. Again, this is something, a setting that this is how I have mine set up to where I always have these, you know, the vertical and the horizontal lines. Um, so it's gonna look different for you if you're if you haven't set your chart up this way already. All right, so the way that you know that you have whatever tool you have selected, okay, you're gonna go back to tools right and you're going to see the check mark right here next to the tool that you want to use right so we're using the price expansion aka the fibonacci extension okay that's what we're using i mean you go ahead and click it again it's not gonna it's just gonna make sure that you got it and you're just gonna start drawing okay so this is how i have it set up to how it looks right now based off of the things that i like to look at based off of my own personal preferences and experiences and study all right but by default what it's going to look like for you is is by default fibonacci extension is going to look like this this blue here all right so let me go ahead and i'm gonna right click on this and get rid of this all right when you're starting with uh fibonacci well, when you're starting with before you set anything up 
in Sierra chart and the first time you use the Fibonacci extension or the price expansion what you're gonna do I mean you're it's gonna look like this okay so you got the 0 the 32 percent the 50 percent the 61.8 percent and the 100 percent right and that's on the extension side of the, of the game of course because we're using the Fibonacci extension so if we we're gonna use the Fibonacci retracement we're gonna go back to tools and we're gonna go to price retracement and by default this is what it's gonna look like okay so you know you're using the default settings when it's blue and it has the, the just the default things that everyone looks at okay um, if unless this is your first time hearing about you know Fibonacci uh, extension or retracement we know that the popular levels are the 38% the 50% and the 61.8% it's really 38.2 or three you know whatever platform you're looking at all right so if we're looking at the Fibonacci extension or the retracement within trading view it looks like this this is what it looks like um, all right so that's the default for the extension and the Fibonacci retracement oh well, it's just like that let's make sure we got the default in here All right, so the default uh, retracement looks like this, okay? So the whole reason I even bring that up is, you know, the, it, it's going to look different. The way it looks and the numbers that it puts there and, you know, whatever it is, you see here the uh, popular levels are um, 0.382 and 0.5 and 0.618, right? And really, it's the same thing, okay? So this would be 61.8%, 50%, and 38.2%, right? And it also puts the, the other ones in there, the 23.6% as well as the 78.6%, which can also be useful depending on what your strategy is, right? So this is the default for a, a um, trading view. So whatever platform you're using is going to determine how it looks by default, okay? All right, so let's go back to just and let's just look at the Fibonacci extension again in Sierra chart. This is the reason why we're here. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it up. We're going to use this one that I placed right here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. And we're going to use some actual levels here, some real levels. Let me go ahead and delete that. All right, so what I want to look at... Um, Let's just say I want to look at, at this level here. So let me go ahead and click on the extension. Make sure I got the default in there. And I'm just going to look from there to, I don't know, right here. I'm just picking arbitrary levels or even, yeah, because we can see everything right here. So this is how we got our, our Fibonacci extension set up. The purpose, don't worry about the purpose right now. This is only for illustrate, illustration reasons only. This is just, that's just roll with it. All right, so, <laughs> so the levels that, I, that I'm using, you know, regularly, I want to be able to see this. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to chart drawing properties. Okay, so in here, now we can see what levels I'm looking at. Now, I have it set up this way. I just took what was there and I, and I you know, made some adjustments to what was already there. But honestly, you can set this up however you want to. So you see how I have it kind of spread out and I have to scroll down to see all of the, the price levels that I have in here. You can actually just set it up to where you got all your, just right in a row, you know, saying uh, one up under the other one. You can set up however you want to set it up, okay? So what we're looking at here is this is how I have mine set up by the, the way that I like to use the Fibonacci extension, all right? So I don't have the zero line, okay? But I do have the 61.8% and then I have the 161.8% and then the 261.8%. So I think you can kind of get the theme of what I'm doing right here is at every 61.8% plus 100, right? So um, this is how we're gonna set it up. Also, I have the, you know certain colors to represent each level, all right? So, you know, we got orange, blue, purple, and red. So, and, and yellow for the, you know, the main 
and that's how we got it. All right. So the reason we're even looking at this so we can have a point of reference for when we build it out again from scratch, right? So let me go ahead and cancel that. Okay. All right. So we want to look at so what are what are we looking at here? Let's go ahead and, and define what we're looking at, what we want to see from our Fibonacci extension. And we're going to write this down. Okay. Let's see if we got a good color here. Yep, green to do me. We want our levels. Not levels, but levels is uh, 61.8%. Right. Plus 100. Okay. Times 5. Okay, that's going to make sense in a minute. Just don't even worry about the math. Uh, okay, that's the levels. All right, we're going... Uh, yellow right what was it orange what was it what was our what was our colors let me go ahead and i should have well, we got yellow orange we got blue what then we have purple and then we have red for that's 400. all right that's gonna that's good enough that's good enough we can just roll with that Uh, we not we're just gonna go to times four okay really it's time but it doesn't matter don't even worry about the math i i understand what this means it'll make sense in a minute okay all right so anything else we need to be aware of okay also no zero or 100 levels okay we're not using that and this is just how i have it set up because of the way that i use my power range okay so all of this stuff is just going to these settings that I'm talking about right now. Yeah, of course, it's going to depend on however you like to use it. This is the, just the way that I'm having it set up. And I'm only, you know, we're only using this so I can illustrate how to set up this tool and what you can do with this tool. All right. So let's keep moving. So that is what we're going to look at. And let me get this out the way. Get my little timer out the way. All right, it's right there. So now we have this is our point of reference for how we're going to set it up. So we're going to go. We're going to right click the Fibonacci extension that we have drawn here, and we're going to go to Chart uh, Drawing Properties. And now, so I'm going to set it up like I mentioned before. Okay. Now I'm going to. I like to do things the easy way, and the way that I'm going to set this up. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck everything. I'm just going to make it real easy. We got the tool there. It's going to make it real simple and easy, lack. And I'm going to double click here. And I'm going to Control C to copy it. I don't, can you right click? Oh, yeah, you, or you, you can right click and copy. And what we're going to do is, since I don't use the zero line, actually, I'm going to start it right here. We want it times four. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in four times. Okay. And then what I'm going to go back, actually, I need one more. There we go. Now what we're going to do, okay, here we go. This is how I'm going to do it. This is how I'm going to do it. Just, just bear with me. Bear with me for a second. Okay. All right. So now we got our 61.8 because that's just, we're looking at 61.8%. All right, so now I want it 100, 200, 300, and 400, okay? Now, for our baselines, which is the 0 and the 100, I'm going to go ahead and make these green. Let's see. I want that, you know, that bold green that so we can make sure we that we seize it, okay? We got the 0 and the 100 green. Okay, and now we're going to look over here for our other level colors, right? So 61.8%, we got yellow. I'm going to use this yellow here. 161.8%, uh, uh, we got orange. We're going to use this orange. Okay, um, 261 is blue. We're going to use a different blue. I'm going to use, I'm going to use this blue here. 
let's see, 361.8, we have purple. Let me go with, I want to go with this purple. So I can, you know, there's a reason behind that because it's too dark of a color and you won't be able to see it against my black background. So again, it's all personal preference. You can have it set up. This is for illustration purposes only, right? And for the 461.8%, I'm going to use the red, but I'm going to use the lighter red, okay? All right, so that's to say I click OK here, and you see nothing happened, right? Of course, because I actually have to check those boxes, okay? So here's under the show, the show category or the show column. We're going to check the boxes, and you can see as I check the boxes, they start to show up over here. I'm going to have to adjust it so we can see it. And I'm also going to go ahead, just for illustration purposes only, I'm going to go ahead and put the 0 and the 100. And we're going to, let's see, anything else. Also, another thing I want to change is I want to change the line style for the 0 and the 100 uh, levels. I want to make this a, a dash line. Um, let's see, that's the 0. Matter of fact, I'm going to use this for the zero, or the dotted dash for the zero, and the dash for the 100. Okay, just getting creative. We're just getting creative. That's all we're doing. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right, so now we got this set up. And I'm going to adjust this a little bit so we can see the whole thing. Go back and click on that. All right, just so we can see everything. So now we see. This, we see all of our levels minus the four. Let me go ahead and make one more adjustment. All right. I just want to be able to see all of the settings. So now we got it pretty much set up the way that it looks over here. Not 100% exactly the same, but like I said, this is for illustration purposes only. So real quick, I mean, it's really that simple. That's all it is. You just, you know, that, that's how simple it is to set up and use the Fibonacci extension tool. All right. So, I mean... The way that you use it, that's based on personal preference. So your levels that you look at, that's again, that's personal preference. Um, how you place it and how you draw it on the chart, that's again, that's personal preference. So for example, let's say we know that I use the, I use the uh, Fibonacci extension with my power range, but that's not, you know, let's say another way to use it. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to move this chart over. Let's say we're looking, the market is open right now, and you know, this is what we're looking at. So I want to, I want to make a judgment of where you know the price can potentially go, and I just want to use the, you know, the Fibonacci extension to help me place trades for whatever my strategy is. All right. So one thing I can do, I can look for the low and the high of you know the current trend, and what we're going to do. For this, so I don't mess this training or uh, this video up, is I'm gonna move this over, and I'm gonna move it to the short side just to keep it out of the way. There's a reason; it'll make sense in a minute. So let me go ahead and, and pick this tool again, the Fibonacci uh, extension or the price expansion, and I want to go from this level here. What is that? 552.75. I'm gonna go up here to the top of this move which is 646.25, okay? So we got it set, it just takes two clicks. And now let's see what we look like. Wait a minute, we lost all of our settings, okay? So if you want to, unless you save it as a template, it's gonna go back to the default every time, all right? So what we can do is we can take this down here and we can make this we can use this as our template. This is what we want our Fibonacci extension to look like every single time we draw it, right? So I'm going to go back into chart drawing properties. And you see, this is where we have our settings that we like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of these TCs. This is how we set our templates. Um, since I got, let's see, in my thing, I have one through five up here. So I'm just going to go to, because uh, I don't want to mess anything up. I know TC4 is on default. I'm just going to choose TC4. Now, 
if you have never set, you know, did any, if you never set any templates before, you can just start with TC1 or, you know, whatever you haven't used already, you can use whatever TC that you want to use. But I'm going to go ahead with TC4 but since I know that TC4 is, hasn't been set to a template for the Fibonacci extension. So the way that we're going to pair these settings with TC4 is we're, we're going to go down here to the bottom of this window where it says config num and config name. And we're going to hit the drop down right here. And you can see which templates or which TCs we've already set a template to. So for this one, we're going to set this one to TC1. Okay, beautiful. All right, and then we can give it a name or we can choose not to name it. So we're going to give this one a name. And we're going to go with uh, fib extension. Uh, let's see example All right and we're gonna click on save okay now that we got that in there if we click on TC4 over here you see it's really it doesn't do what I wanted to do oh no it's TC1 I'm sorry if we click on TC1 now it was good because I went away from it you can see that it put our settings in there okay now we're gonna hit, hit OK and those are saved now if we want to we don't want to do all that drawing over again we just want to apply our you know our template to what we have drawn up here i can go ahead and click right click on this one go to the chart drawing properties and i can click on the quick load i can click on uh, tc1 right there or another way that i can do it because i like showing you there are several ways to do it i can click on config num right here and then i click on load and then i also load my you know my template settings into the the uh the drawing tool as i want it right click ok and now we're set all right so that's really the basics of it um that is how you use the fibonacci extension tool and the same concept applies for any tool that you use that's how you set the templates that's how you that's where you will find the tools that's how you you know draw the tools on the chart and everything you know the same concept concept applies for each and every single tool right now let's say if you want to have a shortcut for your tool either right here or if you right click you can also have a shortcut here so how do you set up the shortcuts okay one way to do it if you want to set the shortcut up, up here the easiest way to do it is just to right click in this uh in the control bar and you can go to customize control bar one you can have multiple control bars, but that's another video for another day. Um, and let me get this out the way, this my my text out of the way, okay? So the way that we're going to put this up here, let's say I want to add TC6, right? Because I already got one through five up here. Let's say I want to go ahead and add TC6. Okay, so I'm going to look for the TCs over here, all right? And I'm going. It's, that's going to be located under tools. Sometimes, you know, you may not know what something is, and you just, you know, you got to click through and find it, okay? Um, all right, so we're looking for the TCs, and we're going to scroll down, and we can see they here they are right here. And TC, if you didn't know before, TC stands for Tool Config, okay? So now we know what TC stands for, and we're looking for, we want to put number six up there. So now we got number six, and we just go ahead and click Add, okay? So where did it go? Of course, it's going to add it to the very bottom, and we can go ahead and click on it, and we can move it up to where we want it, okay? We're going to put it right here behind TC4. All right. Let's say I want to go ahead and add another one. Let's say I want to add number seven. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and add number seven to it. And boom. Now it's right there. So that's a little, I showed you, I kind of, you know, I set that one up. So if you don't have anything, you know, if you want it, if you're, if you want it in a particular place, let's like say you want to add a, a command to our you know a shortcut to a t particular location and you know you know you want to just do it the quickest way possible what you would do is you would go to that location uh, to the area that you want it set let's say I want to put um, just just for illustration purposes only let's say I want to put this global cursor on command um, next to okay next to my right here between this disconnect connect and disconnect buttons we're going to locate that here in the selected control bar commands and here we go we got disconnect and connect and i want to put the global cursor command on 
right here up under this I go ahead and click on disconnect and we're gonna click that and we're gonna go to add right and we're gonna hit OK and now that you can now you can see my global cursor uh, command is right here I got the shortcut right here in my um, control bar as well as my TC's right here in the control bar so I could go deeper into this whole control bar thing but that's like I said that's another video for another day if you would like to see that go ahead and and leave a comment below hit the like button you know what I'm saying uh, and let me know that you would like for me to go into more details about that um, then I can that can be you know something that I talk about on the next video so that's basically everything that you really need to know about the Fibonacci extension and as far as Sierra chart is concerned and the same thing goes for the retracement all right so if any if you have any questions or any comments or you want to know more about it or something that you think that i skipped over and didn't mention go ahead and leave that in the comment section below and if you like this video you found it helpful hit that like button if you haven't done so already subscribe and go ahead and click that notification bell right there on the side and that's going to wrap this one up and i'll see you guys later trade it easy deuces